Namaste. Welcome to today's class. Today we're going to start working with the element of air. So the element of air represented in yoga, of course, by pranayam or breathing exercises. When we go back to the ancient yogic texts, um, the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, he didn't mention any physical movements, but he spoke a lot about pranayam, about breathing. Millennia before this Western uh, interest that we see now with the amazing benefits of breathing and what it can do to the physiology, to the psychology, long before that, thousands of years before what we're seeing today, the yogis already knew that the way we breathe can impact the way we live, just simply our day-to-day -day lives. It can impact our emotions. It can impact our thoughts and it can impact even our physiology. There is such amazing research being done at the moment around the power of breath. Um, some of you may have heard of Wim Hof and his breathing techniques. And all of these techniques are actually derived from ancient yogic breathing practices. And we see how amazing the breath is. There was a German university who studied Wim Hof because he does all of these crazy, amazing things that are absolutely impossible to do, that human beings can't do, and yet he can. And one of the experiments they did on him was they infected him with E. coli. And using only his breath, he managed to stable for E. coli infection. And this is a university study done by research scientists. It's not anecdotal, it's absolutely real, the power that we have over ourselves with breath. If we look at what's happened in the last 18 months with the coronavirus pandemic, and we see how when we lose our breath, the effect that it has on us, how people are suffering, even long-term effects of not breathing properly. And we begin to see how important it is to breathe properly, not only here on the mat, but in every aspect of our lives, we begin to see the power of breath. So why is breath so important? Well, of course, from a yogic, yogic perspective, breath is prana. And what is prana? It's life force. It's more than energy. It's the life force energy. The very first thing we do when we leave the room is we breathe. Everybody waits for that loud wail when the first, first breath is taken. And the very last thing we do when we leave our lives is we draw our last breath, we expire. So we see that breath is woven into every single part of our lives from the moment that we enter the world until the moment that we leave, we rely on breath. And we can allow the breath to breathe itself. It's quite capable of keeping us alive or we can harness that magical healing power of the breath and we can improve the quality of our lives, the quality of our thoughts, the quality of our emotions our physiology, we can change the way our body works through harnessing the power of the breath. On a metaphysical level, the element of air is associated with the heart chakra. So when the element of air is in balance in the body, we experience all of those beautiful sensations of a balanced heart chakra, love, kindness, empathy, um, joy, all of those emotions that we associate with the heart. And when it's out of balance, we may experience loneliness, heartbreak, sadness. In Chinese medicine, sadness or grief is held in the lungs. So we see that connection as well. When it's out of balance on a physiological level, we may experience heart problems, chest problems, problems with the um, arms, circulation, the immune system, the neck and shoulders or we might be diagnosed with something along the lines of burnout or adrenal fatigue syndrome. So we can see how important the breath is. When we think of breath, we think of movement. So we're gonna put a lot of movement into today's class. So very much like the flow that we have with the element of water because nothing, of course, is independent of itself in the body. We're gonna work again with that beautiful movement in order to get the energy, the prana flowing to every single cell in the body. So we're gonna start off by tuning in with one long arm. You can bring your hands together and just bring them to your heart center.
feel the air as it enters your nostrils and experience the air as it exits. Be so beautifully present to that movement of air. Somebody once described breathing like the waves breaking on the shore, this endless cycle coming and going, coming and going with our pause. And we feel that rhythm in our breath. Even when we don't breathe consciously, we feel that beautiful rhythm. Good, now take a long deep inhalation through your nose. Exhale all the way out. And we'll inhale for one long arm. Oh. And inhale. Hold the breath in, feel the vibration of sound. And exhale. Good. So let's start by just very gently warming up the spine. Inhale up, exhale down. Moving through the familiar routine of warming up the body. And as always, we breathe consciously. But pay special attention to the breath today. Feel that constant rhythm and flow of breath. Notice the heart area and feel the movements of breath around the heart space. Soften your jaw, you relax your tongue, soften your gaze or close your eyes and see maybe the corners of your mouth turn gently upwards into the half smile of the Buddha and come to center and move to a Sufi grind, massaging internal organs distributing the energy through the body, the prana that we get from breath. And let's change direction. Come back up to center and move to neck rolls, keeping the shoulders relaxed. Keep the breath, rhythm with the movement, connected to the elements of air. And let's change direction. There's a kind of effortlessness with air. We don't see it, we don't touch it, or taste it, or feel it. But we know it's there because it keeps us alive effortlessly. Beautiful, come back to center and just take a moment. Hmm. Good, and then let's come onto hands and knees. 
Bringing hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, and moving through cat and cow. Allowing the spine to direct you. And come to neutral. Tuck your toes under. Straighten your head. Press your heels down to the mat. Lift your tailbone up and press your chest towards your thighs. You may want to bend your knees if that feels right for you. And just breathe here. And then you may want to walk it out, alternating the knees. Come back to neutral. Gaze up between your palms and walk your feet towards your hands, come into the front of your mat, grab hold of your elbows, soften your knees, relax your head and neck, and then just gently allow the upper body to twist side to side. Then come back to neutral. Release your arms, soften your knees, curl up and come to Tadasana. And take a beautiful, long, deep inhalation and exhale, bring your palms together. Inhale, reach up, arch back and exhale, bring your palms to the mat. Step your right leg back, drop your right knee to the floor, look up and step the other leg back to plank. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, step your right foot forwards, drop your left knee to the mat, look up. Exhale, other leg forwards. Inhale, reach up, arch back. And exhale, palms to the mat. Left leg back. Other leg back. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, left foot forwards. Right knee on the floor. Look up. Other leg forwards. Reach up, arch back. And exhale, palms together. And inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, right. Retain. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale right, exhale left, inhale, and exhale, palms to the mat, left leg back, retain, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale left, exhale right, Inhale and exhale and coming to Tadasana. Take a moment, feel what it is to be in your body, be in the sensation of your body and inhale. Exhale, palms together. Inhale, reach up, arch back. Exhale, palms to the mat. Right leg back, look up. Other leg back. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale, step your right foot between your palms. 
Turn both feet to face forward. Turn your fingers to point backwards and walk your hands through your legs, drawing the crown of your head towards the mat. Shift your weight into the balls of your feet so you're leaning slightly forwards. Try and have your knees straight, but if you need to soften your knees, of course, that's absolutely fine. And breathe. Feel the chest, feel the breath moving through the body. Feel the air in your body. And then coming back to center. Walk both hands across to your right ankle and lengthen your chest along your right leg. Making sure you keep the weight shifting to the, the balls of the feet. With each exhalation, allowing the body to surrender. And coming back to center, bring your right hand underneath your face, open your chest to the left and reach up with your left hand. Create space between your shoulders. And then bring your left hand behind your back, open your chest, take your gaze upwards. And Release. Beautiful. Now bring your right hand through your leg, left arm up and over, and see if you can bring your hands together behind your back. Take your gaze upwards. Keep breathing as the chest opens. And release. Beautiful. Turn to face the right foot and step the left leg one step closer. Coming into pyramid pose, hands resting alongside your right foot. If you can, keep your front leg straight, but if you need to, you can bend it. Rest your chest along your leg. And relax here, soften here. But keep the air conscious, consciously moving the air in the body. Feel that lightness of air, the effortlessness of air. And then you can step your left foot forwards, soften your knees, gently curl up and come to Tadasana. Just take a moment. You may feel a little bit lightheaded. That's perfectly normal. And inhale. Exhale, palms together. Inhale, reach up, arch back. And exhale, palms to the mat. Left leg steps all the way back. Left knee on the floor, looking up. Other leg back to plank. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, step your left foot between your palms. Turn both feet to face forward. Grab hold of your ankles. Lengthen your spine. Inhale. And exhale, draw your chest down. Again, trying to get the crown of the head towards the mat so you're lengthening the spine, creating space between the vertebrae. Beautiful, long, deep breathing. Weight is in the ball of the feet. And release your hands. Walk both hands across to your left ankle, lengthen your chest along your left leg. Beautiful, long, deep breathing. And 
and coming back to center. Bring your left hand underneath your face. Raise your right arm up and create space between your shoulders. Let the right arm fall all the way back. And then bring it behind your back, opening your chest even more, taking your gaze upward. And release, coming back to center. Now bring your left hand through your leg, bring your right arm, arm over, see if you can interlink your hands. And open your chest. Taking your gaze upwards. Feel the breath, the air moving through the body, breathing longer and deeper. And release the hands. Turn to face the left foot, bringing the hands either side of the left foot, step the right foot one step closer and relax here. You may bend the front knee if that feels right. Beautiful, and step the right foot forward. Bend the knees and gently curl up, coming to standing. Breathing your way back into here and now. Slow down the exhalation. Notice any sensations in the body. And inhale. Exhale, palms together. Inhale, reach up, arch back. And exhale, palms to the mat. Inhale, step your right leg all the way back. Drop your right knee to the mat. And come up. Let your hips sink down. Draw your palms together. Now you're going to bring your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Lift the, right, the left elbow up. And take your gaze upwards. Sink down through the hips. And coming back to center, lift the chest up. Turn to face the right and take the arms out. Gazing over the right hand. And bring the left hand in front of the left foot and reach over with the right arm. And release. And then bring your hand to the outside of your foot. Walk the left foot across the mat. Drop the left knee, making sure the hips are nice and straight, that they're not rolling over to the side. Dropping down into your elbows. And then if it feels possible, going all the way down. And using your breath. Using each exhalation to soften to surrender. Deeply relax. Coming back up onto your hands, arch back. And tuck your right toes under, step back to plank, and exhale, inhale, 
exhale, inhale right, exhale left, inhale and exhale and left leg back, left knee on the floor, coming up, let the hips sink down, bring the palms together, Turn the body to the right and bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Lifting the right elbow up, sink down. Notice what happens to the breathing as the chest is compressed. Coming back to center. Turn to the left and reach the arms out, taking your gaze over the left hand. Feel the open chest. Notice what happens to the breath. And then bring the right hand to the inside of the right foot and reach up and over with the left hand. And release, walking the right foot across the mat. Making sure the hips are nice and straight. Dropping down into your elbows. And relaxing forwards. Softening. Lengthening the exhalation. Notice what happens to the mind and the stillness. Notice what happens to the body in the stillness. Lengthening the exhalation. And then coming up onto your hands, arch back. And release, tuck your left toes under and step back to plank. And exhale down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, left foot forwards. Exhale, right. Inhale, reach up. Arch back. And exhale. Coming to Tadasana. Breathing into your toes. As you inhale, draw the breath all the way down to the toes. And exhale, release. Keep breathing, drawing the element of air all the way through your body. And feel the lightness all around you. And inhale, exhale, palms together. Inhale, reach up, arch back. And exhale, palms to the mat. Right leg back, look up. Other leg, plank. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And then just breathing here a few moments. And we're going to move now from downward facing dog and dropping forwards into upward facing dog, keeping the thighs off the mat, chest open, looking up, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale and exhale, 
push up and back. Inhale and exhale, dropping down again. Inhale, push up and back. And exhale, last one coming down. And inhale, up and back. And exhale, just breathe here. And inhale, right foot between your palms, left knee on the floor, look up. Exhale, other leg forwards. Inhale, reach up, arch back. And exhale. Left leg back. Retain, plank. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. And just breathing here. Coming into down dog as if your muscles were completely relaxed and your body was being held by your bones alone. Feel the effortless flow of breath and the effortless holding of this posture. And step your left foot forwards. Right leg follows. Inhale, reach up, arch back. And exhale, release. And come to Tadasana. Feel the lightness of air. Feel the rivers of water flowing through your body. And feel the solidity of earth holding you here. And breathing prana and life force into every single cell of the body. And inhale. Exhale, palms together. Inhale, reach up, arch back. And exhale, palms to the mat. Right leg back, look up. Other leg back. Exhale, drop your knees, drop your chest. And then you're going to slide your elbows underneath your shoulders for Sphinx Pose. Let your hips sink down, press your chest forward, push your shoulders away from your ears and let your head go back. Stay active in your hands that your fingertips are consciously, actively pulling forwards. Your chest is also stretching forwards. And inhale, draw the breath into your body. Feel the air as it circulates through your chest, moving around the space of your heart. And exhale. Inhale, breathing into your chest, Feel your ribcage expanding as the breath moves around the space of your heart. And exhale. Last one, deep breath in. Breathing into the chest, behind the ribs, into the back, around the heart. Hold it. And exhale, dropping down. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes under, push up and back and take a moment here feel the release in your lower back breathe into the lower back and inhale right foot forwards left knee on the floor look up other leg follows inhale reach up arch back and exhale palms to the mat left leg back retain plank and exhale drop the knees drop the chest and come all the way down 
Bring your hands behind your back. Interlink your hands. Drop your forehead to the mat and take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, lift your chest up. Lift your arms up. Open your chest. Roll your eyeballs up towards the ceiling. Lifting up for three, two, and one, dropping down. Second round, keep your hands where they are, deep breath in. And exhale, lifting up, chest up, arms up, eyeballs rolling up for three, two, and one. And coming down, release your hands, bring them underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under, push up and back. And again, take a moment here, release your lower back. Take the air into that area. And inhale, step your left foot forwards. Right knee drops down to the mat, looking up. Other leg steps forwards. Inhale, reach up, arch back. And exhale, release. And coming to Tadasana. The air is all around us. It's within us. It's part of us. When we feel the element of air, we feel that lightness, the joy, the love, the compassion that comes so easily from this life-giving prana. Inhale and exhale, palms together. Inhale, reach up, arch back. And exhale, palms to the mat. Right leg back. Look up. Retain. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Come up on your toes, press your chest towards your thighs, relax your head, relax your neck, and raise your right leg up into a standing splits. And release. Drop your heels to the mat. Dropping down onto all fours. And moving through cat and cow. Moving deliberately into whichever part of your body needs you right now. As you drop the belly down and you look up, inhale, feel your chest opening. And then as you curl up in the opposite direction, exhale. Moving to the rhythm of the breath. And feeling completely at one with the breath. And coming to neutral, tuck your toes under, straighten your legs, press back to down dog. And step the right foot forwards. Left leg follows. Inhale, reach up, arch back. And exhale, palms to the mat. Left leg back. Look up. Other leg back. And exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Come up on your toes. And raise your left leg into a standing splits. Breathing, feel the chest opening and release. Coming back to down dog. Drop the knees. Bring the big toes together, take the knees apart, sit back on your heels. Drop your chest, drop your forehead. 
soften, surrender. Notice what's happening to the breath. And then curling up, tuck your toes under, straighten your legs and step your left foot forward. Drop the right knee to the mat, look up. Other leg steps forward. Inhale, reach up, arch back. And exhale, release. Come up on your toes. Come down and then gently roll down onto your back and just take a brief moment in Shavasana. Feel the sensations of the body. Allow yourself to be completely present the sensations in the body. Using each breath to settle into this moment. We're going to move now into Savangasana, or the shoulder stand. So if you have any neck or shoulder injuries, please do not do this pose. If you have neck or shoulder injuries, you can find the wall. Bring your bottom right up against the wall and rest with your legs up against the wall. It is very important that you do not do this pose with neck or shoulder injuries. If you are going into shoulder stand, please make sure that you keep your head and neck absolutely still throughout. So we'll come into the pose like this, lying on your back, hands at your sides, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, swing your legs up and support your back with your hands, walking your hands down towards your shoulders and trying to get hips, shoulders and heels in a straight line. If you're in shoulder stand, a reminder to keep the neck absolutely still. Don't look towards the screen. Focus on your breathing, which is of course a little bit stunted as the chest presses up against the throat. Just notice that feeling. Sometimes it feels a little bit claustrophobic. You may want to soften your gaze or close your eyes. Stay connected to the breath, even when you're not breathing freely. Then you can drop your right foot to the floor behind you. Allow your left leg to follow. And bring your hands onto the mat. Press very firmly on your palms and gently roll out, coming to Shavasana. And just take a brief moment to feel what you're feeling, to feel the effects of the inversion on the body. Notice how the breath feels different now that the chest has been freed again. Beautiful. Preparing for Situ Bandhasana, bridge pose. Bend your knees. Bring your hands underneath your back, interlinking your hands, elbows as close together as you can get them. 
press through your feet. Feel the weight of your body pressing through your feet as you lift your hips all the way up. Press your hands down into the mat and we're going to do three deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Lift the hips up. Inhale. Hold the breath in. Keep the breath in for three two, one, and exhale, slowly dropping the hips down. Hug the knees to the chest and rock gently side to side. And then you can take your arms out to the side, keeping both shoulders on the mat. Drop your knees to the right. And gaze over your left shoulder. Notice how free and open the chest is. And back to center and changing sides, dropping the knees to the left, gazing over the right shoulder. Both shoulders on the mat. Getting a beautiful spinal twist. The chest is just wide open, breathing freely. And come back to center. Rocking side to side. And then rock all the way up all the way down, massaging the spine. And rocking up, coming to Sukhasana, to easy pose. Good, and we're going to finish today with some pranayam, of course, and we're working with the elements of air. We have to do pranayam. We're just going to do some very simple Analoma Veloma, alternate nostril breathing. So you can bring your left hand onto your left knee in Gyan Mudra, with the thumb holding the index finger. Raise your right hand up, bring your middle and index finger in towards your palm. We're going to use the right thumb to block the right nostril. Inhaling through the left for four, retaining the breath with both nostrils blocked for four, and then exhaling through the right for four. Take a deep breath in, and exhale all the way out, and block the right nostril with the right thumb. Inhale, left, two, three, four, retain, two, three, four, exhale right, two, three, four, inhale right, two, three, four, retain, two, three, four, exhale left, two, three, four, inhale left, two, three, four, retain, two, three, four, exhale right, two, three, four, inhale right, two, three, four, retain, two, three, four, exhale left, two, three, four, inhale left, two, three, four, retain, two, three, four, and exhale right, two, three, four, release your hand, inhale through both nostrils, and hold the breath in, as you hold the breath, squeeze more bund by lifting the pelvic floor, keep the breath in, 
Feel that prana as it moves through the body. Take another tiny sip of air. And exhale all the way out. Leave all the breath out and remain empty. No breath. Hold it there. Hold the emptiness. And inhale and allow the breath to breathe itself. Feel what you're feeling in your body. Feel the lightness of air within and around you. Air allows us to feel connected, loved, joyous. Calm, empathetic, compassionate. And when you're ready, you can lie down on your mat in Shavasana or any other comfortable relaxation posture. As we prepare for the final relaxation, you may want to cover yourself with a blanket. Really allowing yourself to be absolutely as comfortable as you can be. And giving yourself permission to relax fully and completely. knowing that it is here in the space of deep relaxation that we integrate, that we are healed. And I relax my feet. And I relax my feet. my feet are relaxed. I relax the calves and thighs, hips and buttocks. I relax calves and thighs hips and buttocks, calves and thighs, hips and buttocks. Relax. I relax abdomen, and chest. I relax abdomen and chest. Abdomen and chest. Relax. I relax hands and arms. I relax hands and arms. Hands and arms. Relax.
And I relax neck and shoulders. I relax. Neck and shoulders. Neck and shoulders. Relax. I relax. Face. Eyes. Nose, mouth and tongue. Face is relaxed. Entire body is relaxed. Filled with peace. And there is peace within. Peace around. And peace in all the world. Shanti. 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 You can start to bring your awareness to the rise and fall of your chest. Very gently rubbing your thumbs across your fingertips, moving your toes. And taking your arms above your head, have a beautiful stretch, draw your hands and feet apart. Hug your knees to your chest, rock gently side to side. And drop your knees to the right, just taking a moment in the fetal position. And when you're ready, pushing up and coming to Sukhasana, to easy pose. And bring your hands together and come into your heart. And take a beautiful, long, deep breath in. And exhale. And may the long time sun shine upon us. All love surround us. And the pure light within guide our way on. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste. 
Namaste. Thank you. You may have a very, very beautiful day.